I have written gate exam two times, failed to perform well in both the times. But that's why I'm a happy person right now. Firstly, let me share my story to IIT Madras. <laughs> also, in the process, I discovered some of the good opportunities to get into IITs and NITs without gate score. And I will share this with you. So let's start. February 1, 2020, the first COVID case was spotted in India at Kerala. Actually, I didn't care about Because it. I have gate exam the next day and mm -hmm. gate exam is everything. And if you're wondering why I have given a gate exam in the first place. Gate exam is a way to get a central government job. Thereby, I can get a high secure job, good paying job and most importantly, social respect. All this for what? To marry a beautiful girl. Actually, I didn't perform well, but I was in confusion whether I had given best or not. So I waited till the gate authority has released the response sheet. And once it is released, I was very much confirmed. I'm not going to get a good run. Hurry out! Baji le apne haat! Time ja raha hai bhai. To kare restart. Restart. So I literally decided to prepare for the gate one more time. And I started my preparation. And me preparing for gate exam one more time is... Taking a big risk because first of all, my parents don't have a trust on me because I failed two times. How is it going to happen on third time? And second thing is me doing third more time is like again an investment for our parents, which is very difficult because we were not that rich. So considering these facts, I was like, TK, let's quit this dream. Me quitting this dream means me quitting the dream of getting into central government job and ultimately marry a beautiful girl. But I think I have to be rushed on at that point. So I was like getting out of the inertia of preparing for the gate one more time. So I started searching for possibilities beyond it. So one day while I was scrolling the YouTube, I came to find out this video from uh, Vijayendra sir from Europedia. There he actually talks about MS in IITs which you can get with low IIT score. And you will get the IIT tag option. So this opens the door for me of the MS opportunities in IITs. So I was like, oh yeah, that's good. I can get the IIT in tech and I can also get the good placements like IITs. And my parents is also very happy because it is IIT. And another thing is like, they actually lost hope on me. So sorry to say this mom and dad, but no, 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 no. I can see it from your eyes. So one of the process that you have to do to get into um, is like you have to write SOPs. Basically you have to write to the department that why you are a best fit, what was your motivation, why you are interested in. So I write SOP and I apply everywhere and I get a call here and there and I prepare for the interview and I'll fail. But I'm okay fail because unlike gate exam which happens only once a year, here the risk is less. I fail in one department in one IIT, no worries I can apply for another department in another IIT. Also along with MS, I applied for direct PhDs also. So basically, I was stress free. But even though that many of the applications got rejected. So I got few interviews got, I think maybe out of the 100 places that I have applied, I got 18 to 20 calls for both MS and PhD. And I got one. And that is direct PhD in IT control. And I studied there for a month. I was feeling like I was on a new track. Then after some days at IIT Kanpur, I got a mail from Ocean Engineering Department, IIT Madras, where I have given entry for both PhD and MS before joining IIT Kanpur and I was in the wait list for MS. But what happened was one of the person who got shortlisted for MS, he decided not to join the program and I joined IIT Madras. that is the best thing that happened in my life. Now looking back, I feel the choices I made to try for higher studies till the very last in pace of I have grown this channel. Along with it, I built some businesses, I made some good memories, we found one startup. So just give your absolute best for gate exam for just two years. If it doesn't work for two years, you know, get a master's in top IITs or NITs get a good career for sure but one opportunity that i missed 
during my postgraduate journey was studying abroad. Actually, if you have a valid grade score, if you qualify and have a decent score, many German universities, include TU Munich, RWTH Hagen, you can study there with zero tuition fees. Even Singapore universities like NUS, NTU Singapore, one of the primary criteria to get into was GATE instead of GRE. And the career there is much better compared to IITs. Now let's dive into some of the opportunities of getting MTech in IITs without a GATE score. Along with it, we will explore universities which will give you a package of 50 lakhs per annum without a GATE score. First is IITs have a program for MTech without GATE score. To get admission into that, you need to have a very good B.Tech credentials. You have to clear written test and interview. And these are the IITs which are offering it. It's called self-sponsored. As the name suggests, it has one drawback, which is you have to pay the fees. No scholarship given. And the best part is, top NITs also opened self-sponsored last year. NITs like NIT Varangal, Suratkal, Calicut has opened their self-sponsored last year. Now talking of non-gate opportunities which will land you up in a high paying job, there are two top universities out there. Some people in Quora, they are actually comparing it with IIT Bombay, which is ISI Kolkata and Chennai Mathematical Institute. These are very old institutes and have very good placements. But only thing is a person has to clear the written test and interview conducted by them. Also keep an eye on Bridge Pilani Hushti test. There also the placement is very good. TK, so this is my telegram ID. If you need some help in me, I'm trying to help people in my free time. So see you in the next video. Stay driven. Bye-bye.